हेलो स्टूडेंट्स हाउ आर यू ऑल होप यू ऑल आर सेफ एंड फाइन एट योर प्लेसेस वेल इन टूडेज लेसन अगेन आई एम कंटिन्यूंग विद द नोटिस पार्ट एंड ने एंड देन आफ्टर नोटिस आई एल बी कंटिन्यू विद द लेटर राइटिंग क्लियर ओके सो दिस इज हाउ आई टोल्ड यू अबाउट द ले आउट ऑफ अ नोटिस I have covered three examples yesterday. One for the lost, another for the found, and one more for the event. There are two more things which I want to share with you about the notice writing. There can be a notice for the meeting also. So this is one example for the meeting. The sample notice for the meeting. So here we have some value points. You could read it out. Now what is the question over here you are aman dhamija the head boy of yadavendra public school patiala draft a notice in about 50 words for all the house captains and vice captains to attend a meeting with the principal and house in charges to discuss the allocation of duties for maintaining cleanliness in the school so the school name is given name of the institution yadavendra public school patiala which you have to write in block letters the next in the next line you have to write the word notice then again in the next line third line you have to write the date in this format then the heading the title and here what you have to write in the body content the first purpose first thing you will write that who is attending the part who is attending the meeting so all the house and vice captains must attend an important meeting with the principal and house in charges now next thing on which date on 2nd september what is the time during recess where in the library and what is the agenda or the purpose to discuss the allocation of duties why for maintaining cleanliness in the campus some special instructions is being given please note that attendance is compulsory in the next line the signature in the running hand and in next in the block letters you have to write your full name and in the last the designation in the bracket like this clear same way we have one more sample notice for tour exhibition camp here again we have some value points you could read it out name of the organizer nature of activity occasion venue objective all these things so here what is that there is one uh, in apex adventures and inner line treks company is there which is organizing a five day trekking expedition for the students of class 8th of your school your name is being given revathi secretary of the adventure club of your school draft a notice in about 50 words for the school notice board in which you have to announce the expedition and invite the students you can also include details like charges parents consent letter last date like this okay here again the first thing we have to mention the name of the institution and here the institution's name is being given is being uh, selected by the student himself because in the question we have not there is no mention of any name of the institution so we can choose it by ourselves in the next line notice then date then the heading and then who is organizing apex adventures in and inner line treks and travels are organizing and what they are organizing five day trekking expedition where at masuri for whom class 8 which date 10th to 14th february and interested students must deposit this amount of money how with the parents consent letter with their respective class teachers by this date and last we have running hand signature then in block letters your name the resignation so in this way we are completed we are over with the notice writing part so i, I hope you understand it very well how you have to write how you have to attempt for the notice writing so these are the some skills which you have to use while writing a notice which i have told you yesterday so moving forward now we have another task in the writing part which is a informal letter actually there are two types of letters informal and formal 
in this case, in today's lesson we will discuss only about the informal letter okay and i'll tell you about the formal letter some other time whenever there will be uh, in when it, when will it be in your syllabus but for now only informal letter is in your syllabus so i'll discuss it with you that part the first thing informal letters are also called the personal letters and these are those letters that we write to our family members close relatives and friends cousins grandparents so that means which we usually write to our family to our friends to our cousins to our brother sister to our mother father like that such letters are written in a simple easy to understand and natural style just as one talks to a friend or a relative that means in this case we don't need any official language or the style or tone which suits the official authority but actually we need here simple easy language which is natural as we usually talk to with our family in that tone only in that style only we have to write so this is all about the informal letters now here why we write informal letters what is the purpose of writing informal letters the first is to express our feelings to share our joys and sorrows and those of our loved ones mark important occasions like to announce a birth and engagement then we have to acknowledge and appreciate people in our life to advise them to greet them to thank them when we want to make some complaints but in a polite way when we want to make proposals suggestions etc when we used to send some personal invitations replies to invitations or reminders so these are the main things which we uh, why we write informal letters okay well next is now parts of an informal letter so the parts of an informal letter let's start with the starting point first is heading and what is now heading heading includes sender's address which is written on the top left hand at the corner of the letter and what is included in the sender's address house number then street and then town you can write pin code also but if you know it otherwise no need and but it does not include writer's name never include writer's name before address next comes your date which is directly below the address but you have to leave one line before writing date leave one line sorry then write out the date and this is the way how you have to write a date one is this way 29th december 2019 this is a british way or 29 here 29th or 29 december 2019 these two are correct then december 29 2019 this is the american style you could use you could use any of these three things but we usually we what we prefer the british british style in our study so you we usually write the date with this style either this or this but never use this style 29 slash 12 2019 don't use this style next part is now salutation which is a way of beginning of letter and it is just written below the date and here we have different choices we have uh, it, the way we have to write the salutation it depends on the relationship between the recipient and the sender how see so if we are writing to a letter to our friends so we have to write my dear and plus name suppose my dear preeti my dear aman whatsoever then or you can use dear 
प्लस नेम डियर कृति डियर राज लाइक दैट फॉर फैमिली मेम्बर्स वी हैव टू यूज डियरेस्ट फादर पा डैड डियरेस्ट मदर माँ मॉम डियरेस्ट ग्रैंड फादर ग्रैंड पा ग्रैंड माँ डियरेस्ट ब्रदर सिस्टर कजन और एल्डर्स डियरेस्ट अक्षय अक्षित यंगर ब्रदर सिस्टर ना वाई हेयर इज वन थिंग आई वॉन्ट टू मैंशन दैट इफ वी आर राइटिंग अ लेटर टू आर फ्रेंड्स और आर यंगर ब्रदर एंड सिस्टर देन वी हैव टू राइट हिज और हर नेम डियरेस्ट अक्षय आक्षित डियर प्रिया डियर राज डियर अमन दीज आर द वाई आई एम यूजिंग अ नेम ओवर है बिकॉज दे आर ईदर माई ईदर आर माई फ्रेंड्स और दे आर माई यंगर ब्रदर एंड सिस्टर बट वेन वी आर राइटिंग अ लेटर टू आर मदर फादर अंकल आंट ग्रैंड पेरेंट्स और एल्डर ब्रदर सिस्टर इन दैट केस डोंट यूज अ नेम ऑलवेज यूज डियरेस्ट फादर डियरेस्ट मदर डियरेस्ट ग्रैंड फादर ग्रैंड पा डियरेस्ट ब्रदर सिस्टर कजन एंड डियरेस्ट अंकल डियरेस्ट आंट सो दिस इज अबाउट द सैल्यूटेशन द नेक्स्ट पार्ट इज नाउ बॉडी दिस इज द मेन पार्ट ऑफ द लेटर द मैसेज दैट इट कैरीज इट यूजली मेक्स यू इट यूजली टेक्स प्लेस इन दिस पार्ट नाउ इन द बॉडी पार्ट it contains all the information or the news the sender wants to convey this is the part where we have to write the actually th- the actual thing about which we are writing a letter about which a sender is writing a letter now make sure it usually makes use of three paragraphs but maybe shorter or longer in letter writing always use paragraphs short short paragraph not too long not too short there should, there must be a paragraphs and they can be of if it it if it is of not three if there are not three paragraphs then can you, then you can use two paragraphs or you can use four paragraphs but don't exceed the word limit beyond 150 words the usual informal letter is of 150 words 120 to 150 words actually other things i'll tell you in the layout of an informal letter about the body next is the complimentary close complimentary close which is a polite way of ending the letter and here also we have some list like for friends we usually write yours affectionately yours ever or yours friend like this yours love yours like this for family members yours affectionately yours affectionate son your affectionate daughter your affectionate brother your affectionate sister mother father for relatives yours sincerely yours affectionately yours affectionate cousin uncle aunt so this is a checklist for complimentary close but here is one thing which you have to be very careful in yours word never use an apostrophe s it is always written in this form this is wrong this is also wrong use only this one yours and after now complimentary close you have to give your signature full name signature don't just do the initials of your name do the full name signature so these are some important parts of an informal letter now let's move forward i am showing you an layout of an informal letter this is the layout of an informal letter c the first part which i want which is sender's address suppose house number street or town and then city name we cannot include name before address which i told you earlier also next after leaving one line date in this st- style first the date which is there the month then the year then after leaving again one line salutation dear kiran why i am using this word kiran because might be she is my friend she is 
younger sister of me like this. So, if I am writing a letter to my mother, father, then I use dearest mother, dearest father. Next comes the body, which I told you the body is the main part of the letter. It contains all the information which the sender wants to convey. We have to use different paragraphs for each new point. And the division between paragraphs is marked by one line of space, which means that ki always whenever you are moving to the next paragraph, either you should leave one line and then start the new paragraph or leave the initial some big in, leave initial part of the line, new line, and then start the new paragraph. Next is punctuation, punctuation lines should be fully observed. Punctuation lines as well as the grammatical mistake that should be observed carefully even though i am saying you that you should uh, let that uh, informal letter is a very in a written in very natural and simple language but still we have to be very careful with our grammar skills with our grammatical things okay so this is all about the body part and one thing more Whenever you are, whenever we are writing an informal letter, at the end, we should use some good leave-taking expressions like, okay, bye, I'll come to see you soon, until then, take care, that you should end the letter with a positive note, with a good positive note, okay? At last, complimentary close, yours, here, it could come anything, yours affectionately, yours sincerely, Yours loving daughter, yours affectionate daughter, anything. That's why I have left this piece over here. Next is your name, the full name. Okay, Sara. I have written Sara because I am not using my name, but this is a full name. You have to use your full name signature. So, this is all about the letter part. This is the layout of a letter. Now, I am showing you one example for this. Then we will be over yes so what's the question you are on a holiday visiting your cousin in delhi write a letter to your father or mother describing your experience of a day's outing in your letter you should say what you went see sightseeing with who you went sorry who you went sightseeing with what places you visited what different activities you enjoyed doing there how you felt about the whole experience so let's see the first address is here, which is house number. Then the name of the street or the name of the apartment. Then town and city. Date is there. Salutation is there. Starting of the letter, hi. Hi, you can mention. If you will not mention, that is also okay. So, in the first two lines, he was discussing, he was uh, telling that where he went and with whom he went to the sight, sightseeing. So, I have just returned from the picnic we kids had at India, India Gate. Uncle Sham packed us all in his Innova and took us out for a day long fun and frolic. It was great fun. So, in, this, in these two lines, we got to know that that the kids have got to picnic at India Gate and with whom? Uncle Sham. In the next paragraph, this paragraph, he was describing about the places where he visited. So, he was telling, we reached there at nine, around 9 o'clock, where? There means India Gate. While Sanju straight away went about flying kites, I paid my tributes to the martyrs. Martyrs means? The people who sacrificed their lives for the country, Shaheed, at the Amar Jawan Jyoti, our martyrs deserve our respect and gratitude for the sacrifices, don't they? Next, I and Keerthi went for boating at the boat club, the second place where they went, boating for boat club. And there they took two rides for, of a motorboat, what speed it had. So, in the second paragraph, he has mentioned about the two places where he had visited and what he did over there, he also described that. In the next two lines, again, he described about what different activities they have enjoyed doing there. Antakshri, in that Nipun won it. 
then uh, when it came to a game of badminton your son beat them all your son beat them all the one who is writing the letter sender he is saying that he won the game of badminton so the two activities two activities they have enjoyed over there antakshri and badminton in the last paragraph he expre- he expressed about his experience how he felt so he said there haven't been any fights that's good well uncle sham kept taking photographs well he was not doing that he was eating fruit salad peanuts or popcorns so they have really uh, delicious things to eat over there some delicious pasta watching us kids eat tomorrow we are going and he is also telling that where they are going to to uh, enjoy tomorrow at the delhi heart and at last he is saying that holidays are a real fun here thanks for sending me here so here of course he was ending the letter with a positive note with a love note thanks for sending me here love you and miss you naman so now see because he is using a natural language the way he talks to his parents naturally he he is using that language so uh, instead of writing yours affectionate daughter or yours affectionate son he is using love you and miss you that's fine you could also use that's not a, a big issue so don't uh, write the letter part or any writing skill thinking that that i have to score good marks yes that you have to score good marks but write it from what do you really feel for that thing what do you really think about that thing think whatever the writing task is being given to you before started start writing think about that for 2 minutes for 4 minutes for at least 2 to 4 minutes you should think about that how you are going to present yourself in this writing task whatever the writing task is being given either it is a letter either it is a notice or it is a article writing diary entry this is the way you can present yourself i told you about how you have to write what you have to write what are the parts of an informal letter why we write informal letters i told you everything so keep in mind all these things i hope you understand very well so this is all for today's lesson we are over with the writing task now from next week we will be heading towards some other topic till then good day bye